A raging war in Ukraine, a rising inflation and climate change are among the events that heightened current geopolitical instability, leaving people vulnerable. Well, senior Minister Taman Shamugaratnam has called this scenario a perfect long storm. Speaking at a conference organised by the Investment Management Association of Singapore, he says there's a need to put in place multilateralism and establish rules to ensure global stability. Mr Taman says the war in Ukraine creates a macroeconomic risk for the world that leads to inflation. He adds that higher inflation for a longer period of time is very likely. As oil prices surge, so will prices for food, industrial metals and other commodities. Other challenges include how countries cope with the climate crisis while ensuring energy security. Mr Tarman says climate change and pandemics will impact vulnerable countries the hardest. And this means less inclusive growth within and across nations. Now, all these while the world grapples with COVID-19 and future pandemics. To address these challenges, to address this perfect long storm, we need new rules of the game internationally to preserve geopolitical stability. But we also need a new era of investment. Investment in energy security, in climate and pandemic security, investment in the developing world. But Mr. Tarman says amid the challenges, there are also opportunities for green innovation, inclusiveness and health. But to seize the opportunities will require governments, the private sector and communities to work together. On a broader level, Mr. Taman says nations must fortify multilateralism and rules to preserve global stability. We are not in a hopeless situation. If anything, Russia has energized the supporters of a liberal global order. I mean liberal in the sense of open, rules-based global interactions and a global order that preserves sovereignty and territorial integrity of all nations. If anything, Russia has energized the supporters of that system and energized the beneficiaries of that system, not just countries, but corporates. It's energized the beneficiaries in a way that now forces everyone to recognize their role as beneficiaries in defending that open and stable international order and standing up for it.